Tell the truth. Did you fast forward? I know. I know. But guess what? You bought my DVD. So that means from 1997 until the day you purchased this, I grew. And that's all you can do as a professional entertainer is get better. I mean, if I was doing that in 2008, like I was in 1987, would you really have spent the money? Of course not. But anyway, I had the potential. That's what my first manager, Jerry Broadnecks, told me. He said, you have potential. And from Jerry Broadnecks, I started with Bernie Young out of Washington, D.C. And that's when my career went into another phase or to another level. That's when I started working across the country at all the comedy clubs. St. Louis, Funny Bone, Miami Improv, Washington, D.C., Comedy Cafe, Baltimore, Maryland, my own hometown. I mean, it just, you go everywhere and you meet all types of comics from all different types of walks of life and backgrounds. And between all that, you submerge yourself into this business and you work really hard. And after five years of being on the road, I got my first TV break when I did A&E's Evening the Improv in Los Angeles, California. And I was introduced by the actress, Joe Beth Williams. This is my first TV appearance. One of many to come. But just check this one out. Where the black people at? How <laughs> yeah, you know, man? It's good to see y'all to the back, one with down. I walk up out the damn between me and y'all. I don't feel no more. I ain't been backside, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man. <laughs> I just told him it was good to be here. Sometimes I have to drive through stupid places. You ever do that? Go through a stupid state? Yeah, I had to go through West Virginia one week, man. <laughs> had signs on the highway that said, watch for falling rocks. <laughs> How do you do this? And what do you do when they come? Okay, I'm watching. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> they got us again. <laughs> Buckle up, honey. This is a rough country. <laughs> then they had a sign that said, Radar is enforced by aircraft. Now, when was the last time you seen a helicopter give them the ticket? <laughs> like you're going to be in your car, you're going to hear this. <laughs> pull over, sir. <laughs> you're in the blackout, pull over. Now, who the hell is that? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to watch for falling rocks. <laughs> The one sign I hate to see on the highway, I hate to see those deer crossing signs. You ever see them out there? Deer crossing next six miles. Who told them the deer gonna cross right there? Back <laughs> like two deers be walking through the woods. Say, man, you wanna cross? Yeah, where that sign at? <laughs> yeah, we can cross up there. No, nah, take your time, man, we got six miles. That's why I understand why people did hunt. Why do men buy guns and walk through the woods looking for deer? That's stupid, man. Do what I do. Get your six pack of beer and sit in front of the sign. <laughs> and when you go deer hunt, you never see deer, deer. Nah, a week before 40, 50 deer out on the highway playing jacks with each other. <laughs> the day you go, no deer. That's because, man, you tell them you're coming, man. Honey, I'm going deer hunting be back in a couple days. They did hear you. As soon as you leave, they go to your house. <laughs> Get in bed with your wife. And that's why women say, oh, don't shoot him. <laughs> See, I know about this stuff. I used to be married, Jack. I was married like two years. Same woman. And fellas, let me tell you something. You don't ever want to go to a divorce court, man. Because the day you go, you might as well walk in there with your pants down and your butt wide open. And the day I went, they was passing out KY jelly. I said, what's this for? Have a nice day. Because they gave her everything, man. Gave her my house and my car, man. She took my car and put personalized plates on the back. Was his. Then the judge told me I had to give her, what, like $800 a month alimony until she ever died or remarried. I looked at my lawyer and said she'd be dead in two weeks. <laughs> well, that's a lot of money to pay a woman you ain't going to use no more. <laughs> yeah, that was for the fellas anyway. <laughs> so, then if you got kids, you got to pay that child support, you know. And I got two kids, you know. The judge told me $600 a month. I said, well, that ain't bad for two kids, you know. Then he said, oh, peace. 
And I said, hey, one of them kids got to go too. Because where am I going to get that count? $1,200. Where am I going to get $1,200 from? Then I saw this show about Ethiopian kids. Found out you sit on 59 cents a day, they can feed the whole family. I had an idea. Hey, pack your bags. You're going to Disney World. And see, at least my kids are not bad, though. You ever see those bad kids in the mall that wish they were yours so you could smack them one time? Where your mom at? <laughs> Tell a stranger did it.